I beat Cyberpunk. Nice. How was that last mission? Uh, very complicated. Oh uh, yeah. So you had like two. I had like two options, mainly because I romance someone in the game. Mm-hmm. And she could have helped out. But I went with the corporate, like the person that was offering to help me out. Mm-hmm. Because she offered me, hey, if I get control of my company, I will get the thing out of your head. I went with that option. Was it a lie? No, it was completely true. It's just that there was like one issue with that, but I'll, I'll explain that later. Alright. But. That's the option you chose. But Jackie died from that company and I'm offering my services to him just so I can live. And his girlfriend. Uh, pretty much calls me like pretty much says I betrayed Jackie by going with Arasaka, the company. Also, Johnny is not there anymore. Where Keanu you, Reeves. Oh, the uh, the AI. Yeah, he just kind of shuts up for the last mission if you go with Arasaka, or any th- any option that isn't his. But pretty much did it. And then, uh, then I do the mission. It's st- and at first, uh, my brain pretty much collapse because I'm in like the end game. If I don't get rid of the chip, I'm pretty much screwed. And so I basically have to, you know, haul butt to end the mission. So I go and get Hanako, who is like locked up somewhere. That's the person. That's the person. And I get her. We go to the tower. We go to the meeting room inside this cu- inside a jungle area for some reason. We got her also the guy that died, mm-hmm. and uh, in like an AI form, like how Johnny is. And then I pretty much have to go get hit her brother, but not harm him. But you know who is the final boss? Who? Adam Smasher. You don't know who he is. But he's pretty much. The guy that got Johnny not in a great shape pretty much was the guy that captured Johnny and then allowed them to engram his mind. Mm. And Johnny is still a little bit pissed off about that. But then I meet up with him and he's also like this guy that has, he's pretty much, what's, remember RoboCop 2? Yeah. In like the, the actual RoboCop 2 in the movie. The Kang guy inside the giant robot body. That's pretty much what he looks like. And this guy, he really wanted to kill me. <laughs> but you know what was the main problem? I was dumb enough to use up all my sniper ammo and my pistol ammo. And get rid of all the crap because I was getting too heavy. You know what I did? What? I barely had anything. I, had to, I actually had to kill some of the guys that were spawning in. Just to take their ammo so I could actually beat them. I didn't die at all. Good. But that was mainly because it was on easy. But the thing is, is that Adam Smasher, if I was on like very hard, I would have been screwed and had to go all the way back before I even started the mission just to buy ammo. Like a whole crap ton of it. Because there's still like a ton of people I had to use up before I even got to them. Like... I would literally have to rush it just to keep some of the a lot of the ammo so I can actually beat him. It also didn't help that I missed uh, sometimes with the sniper. That's because the vertical just kept moving. So dumb. Yeah. And there's no slow motion like on Matrix. Undead. But, but. Yeah. But pretty much I eventually get got him and that was for Johnny. Like, always for Johnny. But... And then I got into the room where the guy was. And he, for some reason, had a very long robe. I don't know why you would need that. Either it was like... It was like... You know how long Batman's cape gets? That was how long the thing was. Mm. Like, those shots where Batman is, like, on the ground, facing down, and his cape is, like... Like, over here. Yeah, it's... it's Like, that long. Really long. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. I'm not really... It's gonna be 
useful in a that kind of setting. Yeah. But pretty much and Hanako showed up and comforted her brother. Because she wants to put her, the guy that dies mind, who was the boss before, put inside the, in the main villains. And basically do what V would have done if I'd given control over to Johnny to end the mission. But then the guy that made the engram, the one that was basically useless before, mm. he shows up and says, hey, come with me. I can get you help. Then I follow him. Then I fall over and pass out. Then I wake up in some weird hospital. I like the thing. I, well, really, before that, I woke up inside cyber, like the cyber heaven or whatever. Met up with Johnny one last time, where he basically says, "You basically sacrificed your morals to live." That's not cool. Really? <laughs> yeah, and it was Johnny because this guy, this guy basically doesn't give a crap about anyone but himself. Johnny? Yeah, Johnny. Because one piece of rock, he's a rock star. Rock star, and because he cares more about killing Arasaka. Like even when he went on dates with his ex girlfriend Rogue, you know what their dates were? What? Blowing up Arasaka Tower. <laughs> so you know, not really. A good person to be around. Well, it's all like people did care about him. It's just that they didn't really show. They they just didn't really get like he. They they still were annoyed by his attitude most of the time. Johnny. Yeah. Johnny's attitude. Hmm. But pretty much after that, uh, V. I pretty much just made V very guilty that he did this and basically just said bye to Johnny. He's gone. He's out of my mind. He's no longer going to take over my body. Hmm. The thing is, is that I stay in the hospital for a little bit longer than, say, like a month. <laughs> like, I stay in a whole month. And V is not being told anything because, well, the corpse. They're not going to explain the problem, especially the doctor that kept coming in saying, daily checkup. Eventually, you eventually get kind of sick of it. It's like, is this really going to keep going on? Yeah, and, like, some, for some reason, the first two times I woke up, it just kept changing colors to, like, blue and green. I don't really know what was happening there. Maybe it was just B wake up syndrome. But then after that, everything turned, turned, everything turned back to normal. But then it basically just turned into a giant horror film with Johnny basically telling you, get up. And, like, this way. And, like, get, get out. In, like, dream sequences. Like, where Jiaki pretty much grabs you and reminds you that basically just screwed him, like, basically disrespected him in the, in the dead, basically. And then, uh, hell, the guy that, and then eventually Fi, like, gets so sick of being there, he flat out throws a fit <laughs> and pretty much demands to be let go. And the doctor actually has to leave the room. And the, and the room's still, like, trash before uh, the guy that created the engram, Hellman, uh, shows up and says, Look, V, the reason why you're staying here is mainly because, uh, remember that engram? We got it out, but there's a, kind of a bit of an issue. You see, the genetic changes that were happening for Johnny still happened. And since Johnny's gone and you're there... Your body isn't really mixing well with your brain. It pretty much just gave me till winter to live. It gave me two options. I was like, okay, so we can ingram your mind and you can still live, but just in cyberspace. Or you can go back to Earth and just live for the next six months. And I went choose? with the live in, from the next six months because basically they're going to give me the same option that Johnny didn't get. And I was like, nope, screw that. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> but because they weren't going to give me to say, like, get a clone body because the technology wasn't 
good enough in the year 2077, but... It could take the human mind and put it in a fake reality, but it can't clone the body? Nope. And they can only have good, uh... Like, basically the only way for this to actually work is if you're family-related. Well, for the, Except for Johnny for some reason. Yeah, they totally forgot about that. Well, no, no, no. Um, His was earlier, right? And, in the year 2020. And, but his um, bionics was really good. His hand, right? Yeah, it was basically John. It was basically a robot. A cyborg hand. Yeah, right? even when Johnny took over, you can actually look at the hand, and it's a robot from how you look at it. It's still meat. So I don't understand how they can take yeah, all the, of this to interface with the human brain. Well... It t remember those changes to, to make V's body more viable for Johnny's brain? Yeah. That's basically how it works. But the, the reason why the CEO guy mixed so well with his sons, the guy that was the boss before that Kanako took care of, mm -hmm. um, is because they were related. And that he could live on through that. But I went with the option to basically just go back to Earth and just have, like, one last uh, six months with my friends and family, basically. But at the end, there's, like, an heirloom to Jackie on your neck. And at the end, j like, V, probably out of guilt, tears it off. And that was how it ends. Oh, yeah, by the way, you're in space. Not on Earth? You were in orbit. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to mention that part. But you said you flew <laughs> like, back to Earth to, uh... To, ba yeah, but... I remember my first time realizing that, like... And I looked at the window of the hospital mm -hmm. in the hallway. Chin back. In the hallway. And I just looked at it, I was like, we in space? <laughs> it was all darkness and stars? Yeah, I was like... Are we able to see the Earth? No, it was just, like, stars... And I was like, we in space? <laughs> and I basically started to get mad. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> didn't even make it to Earth. Although, I would think that in places like that, that they actually wouldn't have windows, but they would have, uh, like, screens to change the scenery, you know? Mm-hmm. But, uh, but basically the end credits, for the first couple minutes, just had all the friends you made along the way. Basically, just have messages for V for when he was, like, in the hospital. And, uh, yeah, that was how it ended. Now, are you going to try it again to do Johnny's? No. No. You're no. good? I'm good with the game. You can do that if you wanted. You can do that. I'm not doing that. I only replayed the game this morning just to do the other intros because, well, one something else that isn't having to play through a lot of the game again just to see because I can't I could do it but I just don't want to do it <laughs> hey did that Batman um have any scratches no All right, not cool. from what I saw did it load uh I haven't checked on the missions to oh. see it yet but it did start to play, and it did have all my save data, so I can check. Alright, cool. Um, so, was it worth the wait? I thought that there was an MMO part of it, too. No, there isn't. Mm. That's crazy. Was there still a whole bunch of side mission stuff you didn't do? Yeah. Like, most of the... Yeah, there was a ton of side mission stuff, but... That didn't compare to how many gigs I had. <laughs> I was like, okay, so I'll just do the rest of the side mission. And I looked at the gigs, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> no. No, not worth it. <laughs> and, other, and the other stuff was just buying cars and stuff. Or, or doing jobs to get the money to buy the cars and stuff, right? Well, that was basically Cyberpunk. Cool. From my perspective, but you can play and see for, for yourself. Because, oh yeah, by the way, uh, the boss and the CEO corp mission, intro mission, 
<laughs> that was probably one of the most notable glitches in the game, because his hair was freaking spazzing out. I was like, boss, uh, do you not see that? I thought the game would correct it after a minute, but it didn't. And I was like, I was eventually saying, can I have some of that hair? <laughs> I went for a girl with Corpro. And Street Kid. Eh, it looked fine. Because, I mean, basically, just the intros are the most different part and some of the unique dialogue. The rest of the game is what you get for the rest of the pass. It's basically... So when you do it's basically... Do you pre prefer a guy that's, like, wise and free? Do you pre compare the guy that's cynical and free? Or do you care the one that's locked up in corporate? I was going to say, um, how different were the intros for the different... Um, so, nom Nomad. Nomad what? You were already a Nomad. Supreme, oh, I'm going up to the intro. Oh, okay. Basically, you're out going to Night City and going to meet up with Jackie to pretty much deliver a package into Night City. And some complications happened, and then we eventually said, we're best friends now. <laughs> and then, the street kid, I eventually just helped out the guy at the bar to try and get out of debt with this other guy. But the guy said, I'll get... I'll let him go if you steal this car from me. And it's like a corporate car. The guy said, this will help you. <laughs> and basically, and I then went in, got the car. Then Jackie showed up and was like, hey, get out. And then the cop showed up and uh, basically dumped me in the alleyway. And basically then me and Jackie just went, we're best friends now. <laughs> but then, then, corporate is probably the most different because guess what yeah. you and Jackie were already friends before <laughs> with the corporate for some reason <laughs> for, for just some reason hmm. for the corporate I don't really get it but eh. but and that's probably the most different where they don't go for Armac best friends now <laughs> we're already best friends practically he did, he did criticize the fact that I was in corporate. Because, well, he's a street kid. And we, they don't like street corporates. But he does like V. And V is basically trying to get a hit out on her boss's, like, boss, who he freaking hates because she passed him on a promotion. And so he basically is a, a psychopath. But but then uh, when I go to talk to Jackie to take the job, I get basically get fired by the boss's boss. And, and basically I lose everything. But Jackie's like, be free. <laughs> That's pretty much all the intros. Hmm. So the game's also right there if you want to play it. And the white Xbox is out there. So, yeah. Pretty much all the new information. It's probably going to be a while before I even think about returning to Cyberpunk. Cool. The game is not bad. It's just kind of exhausting if you're not enjoying it. Which you can enjoy sometimes, like the silly animations. The silly glitches that happen sometimes. No? Well, you should be able to enjoy it because there is no rush. There is no deadline. I think that's what the side missions are for. To no, it's a deadline it. that I'm creating for myself. It's because me. No, I know. But, I'm just... But, me. like, it's basically... If you play a game that you're not really having fun with for too long, you eventually just kind of want to end it. Why weren't you having fun with it? I don't know why. I Like... I was just laughing more at the game and like having like so those were the like, fun moments. I was gonna say it's not like you're having fun with it though. Yeah, I am. It's just that, like, just because the fast travel is kind of, kind of weird and kind of stupid sometimes. But when you're actually driving, it is so boring. <laughs> it is just really boring for me. Because you know why? Because you have to wait for other people. It's not like Batman, where you can just run over criminals and they'll be perfectly fine, and no other cars. 
you have to wait for other people. That's just boring to me. Like, in the combat, it's just kind of normal FPS combat. Like, Borderlands was pretty much doing it before we, before Cyberpunk. Borderlands 3. Like, if you play Borderlands 3, you basically have played Cyberpunk's thing. Just, like, sure. You can get, uh, like, cybernetics to boost up yourself. But, eh, didn't really do it. I could do it, just didn't really want to. Because I am self-sabotaging when it comes to RPGs. Because I just don't take or do it smart the first time. Like, upgrading certain force abilities in Knights of the Old Republic. Well, no, you're just choosing to do it that way, right? Yeah. So you want to make it hard. So you want to complain. Well, no, I wasn't complaining the entire... I wasn't complaining at all. I was doing it perfectly fine. I was fine with that. But I can recognize that I'm doing it kind of stupid. If you... Like, for other RPG people. Like, I, if I said that to a professional RPGer that plays role-playing games all the time, he's just like... Like me? Yeah. Because <laughs> even my basketball game is an RPG. Right? Yeah. I have to maintain 16 relationships and balance the budget and organize how people rotate in and out. Well, it's more of Scouting a... Scouting ahead. Persona game. Then that's more of a, like a Persona game. No, no, no. In, uh, no, in other RPGs, you basically just do their side mission and they're just never going to complain about you. Like, that's what I've noticed. It's really Persona when you actually have to... Do that. Yeah. That that's when it gets frustrating, well, especially apparently well, no, in no, older no, games no, no, no. like I'm, Persona Three, Persona. I know, but I'm I'm rushing it too because I'm simulating the game. I'm doing all those things, but if I was to play the game and I was to have them run the plays that I want to do, and make the game go that much longer, like in reality, a month's worth of playing, I did five years. Well, anyways, yeah, cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, the white Xbox is in there, by the way. Yeah. For, like, Walking Dead. Yeah. And if you want, Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, if I want. Alright. But, well, the foundation in Empire, that part, and... You're what? I'm nearly done with, with it. With that part of the book. So when do you want to start the show? We could have watched... Well, did you figure out how to put the Apple TV on the... Mm, no. Then when that happens... But did you see the article... No, you probably didn't, but there was an article saying Foundation looks much better than Dune. Did you hear it? Yeah, that was an actual article. Yeah. It's a movie? No, no, it's a show. Let's see. One hour, nine minutes. So well, they're hour, well, hour well Fireflies, like, first episode was one hour. Like, a lot of sci-fi shows that are serious are, like, one hour. That aren't animated. But that oh, makes it... Can makes. Let's go see.